guys, great to meet you. Um, I want to I wanted to start by asking you, how does season three begin for you? Do you want to answer first, John? Well, it begins with me being born. <laughs> so I'm only a wee baby. So there's a whole story arc to go on from there. Um, season three for me begins with, uh, there's quite a lot of time jumping, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, in the third one. And uh, it's um, Ian is being, Ian Senior uh, is, is being uh, arrested uh, by, the, by the English, um, which, uh, you know, you come to realise that that's been happening. Mm -hmm. uh, on and off for a little bit, so and I've aged, mm -hmm. aged a little bit as well. Which you, you mentioned the time differences or the different time yeah. periods that you're playing. Um, how have we seen him age, and how has he changed over that time period? A couple of different wigs, which uh, which which help <laughs> uh, help the process enormously. Does he go and bald or is he a grey? Uh, well, you'll just have to, you'll just have to see. Yeah. You'll just have to see. All I can confirm is that he looks very sexy. Um, and um, and you get, I get, you know, it's like, you know, you, you see, you notice perhaps, you see a little bit, you know, obviously his relationship with uh, with uh, with his son, and uh, you notice um, he's maybe uh, he's a little bit more uh, wise, perhaps. Yeah, yeah definitely. And what's the relationship like with you for with Jenny? Because um, she's obviously a very fiery character. She is, yeah. I think yeah, there's definitely a part of uh, Young Ian's personality that comes from his mum, definitely. Um, but on set, uh, working, uh, it's just been it's been really good. It's been really good fun. So mm -hmm. it's always nice to have hang out with you guys. It feels like a wee family. What know? was it like working on the set for the first time? Because I mean, it must have been huge. Mm, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Walking onto the set first day, it was filming in Lallybroch. It was only a little scene and it was, we were shoot, because we shoot so much out of order, so much has happened before previously that I had to sort of put that into my mind that we've still got that to film, so I need to show a bit of development from this point. Um, but immediately walking onto set, I'd met a couple of the, the producers and stuff before, so I was more relaxed. And then I came on and just started having a laugh with everybody like that. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a ball in this, I can tell. Um, do you both have a lot of interaction with Jamie in this series? Uh, I mean, a, a fair amount. Certainly, most of um, you know. Uh, I guess my uh, my story and, and my relationship is so um, interlinked uh, with Jamie. So there's a, there's a you know a, a greater development uh, yeah. of that, I guess. And you, yeah, we're in the same so, time zones, aren't yeah. we? So yeah, Jamie takes you under his wing. He does. Yeah. Uh, we, we've heard about um, how you got injured, uh, how Ian got injured. Yeah. Um, are we going to see any more of that? Are we going to hear any more of that? Because it does feel like an important part of what happened to him in the past. You, say, I don't, you, you don't necessarily see any more of it, but I think it's such a, an integral part of, uh, of who uh, Ian is. And, and his worries for Ian Jr. as yeah, well. Yeah, completely. And, yeah. You know, and like everything in life... Um, you know, the, the things that happen to you shape you, and that's hugely shaped Ian in the way he views war and the fragility uh, of life. So you definitely, get a, you definitely get more of a sense of that. Mm -hmm. is, is young Ian keen to go to war then, or is that something that he, he does want to... I don't know if he's keen to go to war, he's keen to have an adventure. I think he's got itchy feet in Alibroch, and he's seeing his uncle go off and have these incredible adventures and thinks, I want a piece of that. I want to go. Um, I'm becoming my own man now and you're not gonna tell me what to do anymore. Um, but just like all sort of teenagers that have that rebellious strike in them, it comes to bite him in the ass, you know, <laughs> at the end. <laughs> yeah, are there any life lessons that you try and give him or that, that you wanna get across to him? Well, I think certainly, you know, I don't have, I don't have kids myself, but you certainly get the sense that, you know, Ian Murray has uh, has made mistakes, or certain things have happened to him, and that you know he doesn't want he want he doesn't want his son to be in the same dangers or to mm. be, you know, they live at a time when, especially you know, in Scotland at that time. Yeah, particularly, where it's very you know, yeah. you know, I'm mm. sure life was equally valued, but it was you know dangerous mm. times as well, mm -hmm. and um, uncertain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you you've obviously been on the show from from the first yeah. series, so. How has it changed? I mean, it's, we've just walked around this mm. set and it's huge, it's massive. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh, have you seen it get bigger and bigger? I think in terms of 
you know, I was, when I came on to it first, I obviously knew the books were, uh, were, were massive. And when I came on to the set for the first time, I was aware of... It, so it was the big, biggest TV production I'd ever been on. It felt like going on to a big film set. And uh, the, in terms of the popularity of the show just seems to have grown and grown. And I think maybe I did a convention for the first time earlier on this year, and I joined Twitter for the first time just a few months ago, and that gave me an even greater idea of how huge it is. I hadn't had any interaction with the fans, and it's, um, you know, there's just... Um, actually, I was at the Scottish BAFTAs a couple of weeks ago, and fans had come to queue up for a few hours before the BAFTAs, and they'd come from, like, Italy, there were people that were from Japan, Germany, you know, all over Europe, just to come and see a couple of the, the actors come along. So when you see things like that, you realise the show's pretty pretty popular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that you're online, and I don't know if you're on Twitter either, but when the show first goes out, season three, are you going to be online and, and gauging the reaction from that? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah I guess. I am so, on Twitter know. as well, yeah. yeah. Um, so definitely we'll be watching and seeing what all the fans make of it. I mean, the, fa the fans are generally so positive and nice. You know, if I start getting abuse from them or they start telling me they think I'm rubbish or something, maybe I'll come off. But <laughs> uh, while they're showering you with compliments, yeah. it's a little bit easier to read. <laughs> <laughs> and joining a big show like this for you, were you apprehensive at all in terms of the fan reaction and, you know, what you might expect? No, not at all. I don't think I was apprehensive about that. I mean... Yeah, there's always going to be a pressure when you go into a big job like this, but as long as I'm going on set and I'm concentrating on being true, then that all sort of goes away. Um, it's when you come off the set and then you read them again, you go, well, I hope I didn't, you know, I hope I did a good job on this. Uh, but I think because uh, young Ian is such a fan favourite character, there's definitely a lot of people that want to see him done right. Mm -hmm. So taking into consideration everybody's views and opinions on young Ian so I can morph my character myself.